And welcome everybody to the MJ and Ty podcast show. I know we took a couple weeks off, and wait, that means I took a go. That means that my eyes got a rest from watching Ty dance over there. Oh, come on, come on. Come on, you do goofy dancing all the time off camera, and then you did it on camera one time. Okay, I may have done it a little bit more than once, but I don't do it off camera that you know about. Really? Yeah. So, we got two things to talk about today. Today, well, we're going to be talking about the Browns schedule that came out a couple days ago. And we also got some hot takes on the LeBron James Jr. Bronny situation that the world needs to hear. From us. Yeah, so we're going to get the heavy stuff out of the way first and talk about, we're going to talk about the Browns schedule. All right, so I know we got the Panthers. Either preseason or... Yeah, preseason don't matter. Oh. We got the Panthers in week one, then the Jets, then the Steelers, then the Falcons, then the Chargers, then the Patriots, then the Ravens, then the Ravens, then the Bengals, then the Dolphins. What? Do you think Watson is going to play now? We'll see. We will see. We also got the Bills, Buccaneers, Texans, Bengals, Ravens, Saints, the Commanders, and Steelers. Commanders is going to be a hard name to get used to. Yeah. So just starting to get used to the, to the Washington football team. Yeah, like, could we catch? Could the NFL keep that? The Washington football team, like that's that's fire. Like that's that, fire. It's not. It's like, not fire. It is not fire. What? That's a fire name. Okay. No, it is the not. Washington. The Washington football team. That's a fire name. No, you want to know what a fire name it is? The Washington the Redskin Potatoes. <laughs> that that name would be dope and tasty and tasty yeah so anyways back to the Browns um, looking at the schedule I can see the Browns taking the Panthers Jets and Falcons Bengals, Dolphins and Bills Texans, Bengals, uh, Saints, and Commanders for sure. I don't know about the Steelers and the Ravens yet. And now, before I catch a lot of flack from people and who say, oh, but the Bengals just went to the Super Bowl, of course they're going to crush the Browns. Well, let me just say this. Uh, the Bengals uh, have had a hard time figuring out the Browns uh, these past couple of years. Uh, I mean, they got swept by the Browns in uh, 2018. The only time the Bengals have defeated the Browns uh, in the past four years was uh, week 17, 2019, against Freddie Kitchens. Against Freddie Kitchens' is horrible, horrible offense. Hey, Mark, are you sleeping in the background? Because I can hear it coming something from your background. Oh, yeah, that's my fan. Whoops. Hey, don't break anything. I didn't, I didn't break anything. 
So I can see the Browns winning one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine games. So nine games with the potential of 13. And Wait, um, so you see him I'm winning 13 winnable yeah. games, nine that we should win. Nine that. Yeah. Wait, did. Were we supposed to. I know, I remember this. Were we supposed to live stream the Chiefs Browns game? Yeah, but we couldn't get it figured out. We got to get that figured out once one of these days. Yeah, we do. We got to get that figured out. Yep. But anyways. No talking, Boris all. Hey, hey, I'm not boring us all, okay? Okay? I'm not boring us at all. That where... This go ahead. Whose turn is it? Yours. Oh. I can see us winning. Um, I can see us beating the Eagles. Well, that's preseason. I can, I can see. I can see the Eagles got AJ Brown. So like, yeah. I can. I can. Eagles are preseason. I can, so. I can see. I can see probably us. Probably pulling the Eagles game out. The Eagles is preseason, Ty, just, just so you know. Oh. Uh, yeah. I might. Never mind. Week, one, week one's the Panthers. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just, just heads up. Thanks for the heads up because I got confused. You're welcome. But I can see us being the Panthers. Like they don't have, they have um, Sam Darnold. They have some Sam Darnold. I almost said Cam Newton. Yeah. Um, Sam Darnold, Ty's second favorite quarterback. Hey, 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 hey. He is not my favorite quarterback. Okay, it's now go second ahead. favorite. Okay, now go ahead. Okay. Um, we could beat the Steelers. Feasible. We could. We could beat the Steelers. The Steelers. That's weak. That's weak too. But. Oh, we the, the good thing about the Steelers, the Steelers don't have Mr. Dance Logo Juju anymore. Right. So I can see us probably that's a prime that's a prime time game. I could probably see us winning a close one there. Yeah, that's that's a Thursday night game. Yeah, that's a Thursday. Yeah. The Chargers, that's going to be a tough, tough W. Yeah. To pull out. They almost did it, though. Huh? They almost did it, though, last season. Now that they got um, Khalil Mack. And we have Deshaun. If he plays. <laughs> if he plays. Mark, you're over there. Like, you're over there. Like, please, please let him play. Please let him play. Please let him play. Yeah, please, please let Deshaun let play. play. So it's not Jacoby Brissett at quarterback for us. 
Hey, 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 hey. You're over there like, please let him play. Please let him play. Yeah, because I don't want to be Jacoby Brissett or even worse, Josh Dobbs playing for us that day <laughs> or any of these days. I'd rather have Baker Mayfield than either than either of them. Would you – Baker Mayfield might be the third string quarterback. At $19 million? Or second. Not at nineteen million. Not for me. Wait, what? Watson's making Watson's making at least more than Baker. Yeah, but he's the starter. He's the starter, though. But I can see us winning probably our first eight games. First eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. eight. I um, if that's the case, I can see them stretching it to nine. You can see them stretching it to nine. Yeah, I mean, after the Bengals, that's the Dolphins. But the I Dolphins got – we got to remember, the Dolphins got – um the, the Dolphins got Tyreek Hill. They also have a lawsuit on their hands. Against who? Uh, uh, Brian Flores is a, is a – Suing them uh, for um, racial oh for the whole tanking thing yeah for discrimination like uh, Hugh Jackson Hugh Jackson's just an idiot <laughs> <laughs> he is though <sighs> there's a reason why the man is not in the NFL anymore and now he's a high school principal. Wait, he's a high school principal? Yeah. How do you go from an NFL court from an NFL coach to a principal? You be Hugh Jackson, that's how. Uh Mark? Yeah. Can you explain that to me? What? How do you go from an NFL Coach to a high school principal. All you gotta do is ask Hugh Jackson. After all, he loves to talk to the media. <laughs> and then we got Tom Grady and company. And we got Josh Allen up before them. Oh, then actually, no, no. Brady went to Fox. Didn't he? Or is what? that for this? I think Brady is with the Bucks. I thought he went to Fox. Wait, he went to Fox? Yeah. <laughs> Did Tom Brady... Move to Fox Sports. All right, so he'll join the Fox when his playing career is over. Yeah. So I was right. Yeah. Hey, maybe he'll be the permanent replacement for Joe Buck and a better one. Maybe it, maybe it will be a better Joe Buck. Hey, hey, what if Tom Brady tries to recruit Baker? Why would he do that? I don't know. I'm just saying because 
basically, in my eyes, I see Brady playing until he's like 50. Um, that's right. That's pretty feasible. But, like, you're going to need a backup quarterback, and we all know Baker wants to be traded. Yep. But I can see us winning our last year eight or eight game or nine games. Which game is important the most? At this point, all of them. No, no, Mark, Mark, let's put our okay, I'm going to say your favorite catchphrase here. Let's put our player heads on. I said your favorite catch phrase. Um, and let's think, like, what game would you have circled on the calendar? Um, Steelers. Both of those uh, games. Um, Bills. Bengals. And that's it. That's it? Yeah. What about I you? Would agree. I would agree. All right. All right. All right. What? Well, okay. Next topic. I'm gonna let Ty introduce this one, actually. Okay. Why do I have to introduce it? I've done it every other time. You can do it. I'm taking a break this time. Okay. So if you guys haven't known, um. Brian, I just, realized like, I, forgot, uh, I just realized I forgot to put my mic in front of my computer. But it sounds like you haven't had uh, any issues hearing me. Yeah. All right, good. But where was I? Oh, uh, you were talking about Bronny. Oh, yeah. If you guys didn't know, over this past weekend, Bronny went to prom with a white girl, which I don't know why. Like, Mark, tell me this. Why are people so curious who you pick and who you date? Like, like, tell me this. If this was a normal person, yeah, a few people would care. But again, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta ask yourself this: like, like, why do people really care? Your guess is a well. The only thing I can say is there are terrible, terrible people out there who need to nitpick every little thing that doesn't apply to them. But I just they, think. I just I'm the same boy as you, though. Who really cares what, like, who the other person, like, who really cares what, who you take to prom, aside from you and the other person, and maybe your parents, uh, and may, their parents as well. But beyond that, why does anybody care at all? Okay, so... So, why do like, I don't get why, like, if this was a normal person, like, a few people would care. Yeah. Or probably, like, probably a few people would care if this was a normal person situation. But, yeah. like, if Brian, if Brian, whoever Brian chooses, that's who he chooses. Right. It's his pick, and it's, and no one else should care. It doesn't apply to anybody else. I just think like social, like 
What do you think about social media? Since we're on this topic. Mm. Honestly, I haven't really saw much about about this on social media. I think aside from, I think aside from some people I know saying the same things that we are. Like, why would you really care? Did you see the RG3 video? No. Will we get copyright if we played the video? Uh, is there is there music in the background? I don't know. No. 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 Then, then we'll be fine. But like, why would somebody? Uh, let me see. Mark, I can say this. I think people like to, people like to, haters like to hate, but like, find something, if you're hating, find something else to do. Or right. just, just focus on yourself. Like, right. Because uh-huh. this, this is crazy. Like, like if it was a normal person, like a few people would probably possibly care. But like, did you find a video yet? Yeah, I found it. Can we pull it up? Yeah, I got it. I got it right here. Right. James upset a lot of miserable people tonight because he decided to take a white girl to prom as his date. First of all, it's 2022. What's wrong with that? He can take an avatar to prom for all I care. Who he chooses is who he chooses. And secondly, it's given weird energy that a bunch of grown men and women, 40-year-old men and women, are trying to tell a 17-year-old who they think he should bring to prom. This ain't got nothing to do with LeBron and Savannah not raising Bronny right. And the color of the skin of the girl that he takes to prom should not matter. Leave these kids alone. I, your thoughts. I want your thoughts on it. I think I think RG three hit it right on the head. Like, like, like we've been saying. Who cares about? Who cares about details like the, like the color of the. Your date to prom. Who are yeah, you? Like, who, sorry for cutting you off. I'll yeah. go after you finish. Yeah. You got. Was there anything else you wanted to add? Nope. Like, who cares? Like, 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 I would, like, if it was, like, I think RG3 hit it on the five. He hit it on the thought. Like, it's 2022. Why are you telling a 17-year-old? Mark, Mark, why? Ty, Ty. Why, why are you telling a 17-year-old who to date? I don't know. It's people who need to interject themselves. That's all I got to say. All I got to say is that if you're a hater, like, you can hate, but, like, find something better else to do, like, or focus on yourself because, because I think, I think if you're main, if you're, if you're judging somebody for what they're, what they're passionate about or or who they're dating, you need to focus on yourself, man. Like, like yeah. this is just, this is, um, Mark, I want to say a word that I want to say, but <laughs> I don't want us to uh, 
get. Yeah. But like, this is All right. totally crazy. All right, Ty. We are digressing. So, with that digression, uh, that's going to do it for this episode of the MJ and Ty podcast show. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked it, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, share this video. What? You dropped your phone? Got my mic. <laughs> all our videos. And make sure to follow us on social media. Yeah, follow our Instagram. Follow our Twitter. I think we got some cool stuff over there as well. Also, so subscribe to our personal channels. Links down below. Catch you next time. Keep your heads in the game. Uh.